Hello class, this is chapter 1.5 and for this video we are going to talk about mixing problems. These are a very common class of problems and one of the simpler classes of problems that uses integrating factors and it's actually a very common fluid dynamics problem that goes as follows. So we have a, a vat or a tank of liquid and every second we are pumping in R liters, R, R I, R in, lit, lit liters of salt and water solution. And the salt and water solution has a concentration of C, and C is expressed in grams of liter, say 5 grams of salt per liter or 10 grams of salt per liter. We assume that the liquid in the vat is always perfectly mixed. Now in reality, we might have the salty water on top and uh, and the non-salty water in the bottom, but we're not going to worry about that. So every time the water hits, liquid hits the vat, it's perfectly mixed. And we pump out R out liters of solution per second out of the tank. Now we want to figure out information about how much salt is inside the tank. So here, so um, again, let me try to express what's going on. So the amount of water the amount of uh, liquid coming out here is R in, in um, gallons per, um, not gallons, liters per second. Liters per second coming in with concentration C grams per liter of salt. And coming out of the tank, we have R out liters per second, right? And we want to figure out salt in tank. That is our xt. So how do we write this down, write all this down in terms of a differential equation? So we here we, we have the liters, the liters and the concentration coming in. And I guess the first thing to do is to figure out what is the concentration coming out? And we going we're going to have to write down the volume, all right? So the concentration coming out is going to be the concentration inside the tank at time t. So that's going to be equal to the amount of salt in the tank at time t over the volume at time t. Okay, and um, so this gives us a hint and a way of, of writing a differential equation. So every second we have R in, so let's write it down. So every second R in is the total number of liters of water coming in, multiplied by C grams of salt and R out times the concentration coming out, which is going to be X T over volume grams of salt coming out. So that means that the rate of change of the salt is going to be R in times C minus R out times X over volume, which you're going to note V. Okay, and this is assuming that that Vt is easy to express. We have a really nice linear differential equation that you can solve using integrating factors. See, we have an x prime here and x over there, so we need to move this to the left, but otherwise we're done. 